Hey, primary traders, Matt Buckley, call sign Wiz, the primary model portfolio manager here at Top Gun Options. And if you woke up today thinking that everything's great, the EU figured it out, uh, you need to stop trading options or you need to go back to your uh, home planet. So what happened today? Uh, essentially nothing. Uh, the, the EU, you know, uh, on Monday, the market tanked because Merkel threw cold water all over anything that this summit was going to uh, bring out. This summit is the 14th meeting of the, the Ship of Fools. And this time they agreed to come up with a vehicle that doesn't exist to help a problem that's completely unhelpable and really no timeline to do it. So of course the market's going to rally initially on this because everybody expected bad news, right? So what is this called, folks? This is called a short squeeze. That's nothing but what this is. People were, institutions were lining up to get short uh, and, and saying, okay, it's going to be the 14th meeting and it's going to be a train wreck. This time they actually said they might do something. Sold. Absolute seller of this entire rally. So let's talk tactically real quick because I know a lot of you uh, have some questions here. Rim took it right on the chin with earnings. Boom. Knocked a couple teeth out. Good. That's actually good news. You know why? Because I'm going to add more to this position. Why? Now it's more of an attractive takeover target. Now it's cheaper. So if Zuckerberg or whoever was looking at taking over RIM, and I posted a, a good link to RIM uh, in the ready room uh, about why we're in this, this, these poor earnings only make me more bullish. Now again, folks, you got to start thinking counter cyclical to what you're normally thinking. Oh, Wiz, uh, Rim's earnings were horrible and, and we're getting crushed in this position. Who cares? We're in this uh, position strategically, not tactically. I didn't say, hey, we'd bail out of this if, if Rim had poor earnings coming up. I knew they were going to have poor earnings coming up. Duh. That's why it was a $10 stock. I would be adding to Rim here and we might add to Rim in our model portfolio. Nike broke our heart. Nike came out uh, with less than uh, or, or not as good as expected uh, earnings. Quack, quack, quack. It's off its lows of the day. I'm hold this is a July expiration. What do stocks usually do when they gap up or down on earnings? Take a look at charts, folks. Take a look at earnings, uh, you know, uh, uh, just about any company. They usually do what? On a 10% move down today. Look at that gap down they tend to revert to their mean. Nike going out of business anytime soon? No, if anything, like we've talked about, the, the Olympics are coming up, you're gonna, you're gonna vomit because you're gonna see so many Nike commercials and Nike this and athletes standing up there getting gold medals, wearing Nike on their chest. So this is a profit taking. Are, is our position in danger? Hell yeah. But uh, it's, it's also July expiration. So, I'm hanging here uh, to see if it fills the gap. You have got, folks, you got to stop being tactical traders and going, "Oh my God, we got to get out of this thing right now." Nike uh, gap down or, or or rim. Take a deep breath, step away from the computer, and uh, evaluate things. Now, some of you hopefully got into this uh, uh, Goog Weekly uh, um, I put on yesterday. This Iron Condor, and of course, didn't expect the EU summit to come out with any good news. But it's blown through the 570 and the 575. I just sent out a trade alert. I just got long 50, uh, or short, 50 of the 580, 585s. And it's already made a grand back. So uh, I'm already uh, taking the sting out of that 570, 575. And let's take a look at uh, Google. I, I am a seller of this rally, folks. Whoops. Um, you know, we're, we're only up uh, 208. We talked about strategically before, institutions do not like going into the weekends long. So I think this rally will fade. I don't know if Goo's going to pin at 575 or 570. If that happens, uh, roll the 570, 575 weeklies out to next, whoops, to, uh, to next Friday. I am a seller of this rally, folks. I would roll in the model portfolio. Uh, the 570, 575 out to uh, next next Friday. And remember, there's an extra day of theta in there because the 4th of July. Markets are closed. So we're getting free theta in, in our pocket there. But trying to take the sting off with a uh, potential, uh, uh, how much is that uh, spread here? The 580, 585, two grand. 
So, and again, this thing is going through, look at that. I said we're up a grand, now we're up 1100. It goes through theta by the second. But it's also doing that on this position as well. So trying to take a, a little bit of sting out of our, uh, uh, our bear call spread right here. If anything, monitor this before the close. I've seen stranger stuff happen before, folks, where um, the, the rally completely fades. We might end up 150 or something like that. Or we might end up uh, sustaining this. I don't know. But if we're going to hang out here, roll that straight out uh, in your model portfolios and your paper trading accounts to next Friday, okay? I opened up uh, this morning and I was down about 10 grand. Now I'm about down about uh, you know seven and a half grand. So markets move quickly, folks. So keep uh, keep an eye on everything here. Okay. So just want to shoot a quick video. Make sure you have a great weekend. I love days like today's too because they add to what volatility. Yeah, we're taking in the shorts on some of our VXX positions, but I am getting ready to get long on volatility real quick before I go. What's the VIX doing? It's down. It should be down about 10% just based on the price action that I'm seeing in the market. What is the VIX doing? VIX should be, uh, what's 218? Spoos are up 25. Let's go, Trade Monster. <laughs> VIX. Suffice to say, folks, the VIX is uh, down 10% today, which is stupid. And that's nuts. And I'm going to be getting along some uh, volatility. It's today, yep, there it is, down 9%, pretty close. Um, days like today, is when you buy hurricane insurance. It's clear, it's sunny, yay, everything in Europe is solved. That ain't happening. And make sure you get in the ready room and you have got to read this thread. Under general market and individual trades, why Europe will implode, the math doesn't work. I posted this the other day, only 10 of you read it. Everybody read this over the weekend. That is your homework assignment. The math physically does not work out. Whatever solution they come up with, the math does not physically work out. Click on this article in the journal and uh, and you'll see why. Okay, happy hunting. Make sure you hedge. Have a great weekend. Keep an eye on that Google position. Uh, I think Google's going to fade into the close. <clears throat> if it's not going to fade below 570, I'm going to go ahead and roll that out to uh, next, uh, next uh, Friday there. Okay, have a great weekend and I'll talk to you later.